leave what we saw from the BBC. Today, not only was the government trying to stop journalists from reporting, it was also questioning what was being put out by journalists on video, backed up by journalists, citing dates, times and places where events had occurred. Why are we in this situation? We are in this situation because we have progressively let this government, this administration, carrying on from previous Congress administrations, tighten its hold and control over the media in direct and indirect ways. The clampdown that has happened in the valley is being defended in the name of national security, is being defended in many other cases. But in a democracy, it is our role as journalists to go and determine what the truth is, to find out what is actually happening. To find out what is actually happening and put it before the people. That means it is not our job to do propaganda or propagate the government's line. For that, there are already PR machineries available. There is the PIB available. There is Doordarshan available. Our job is to question and scrutinize the media, uh, scrutinize the government. And it is exactly this role that we are being prevented from fulfilling deliberately by the government. And it is a violation of every norm in a free society when the government is doing this. Why is the government choosing to do this? Because the government clearly and now reports and reporters have come back from Kashmir. We have seen visuals, we've seen videos of what is actually happening in the valley of what people actually feel in the valley and the government is trying to convince us otherwise and trying to make us believe that this is the case. Unfortunately, as opposed to 35 years ago when people heard the BBC and realized that there is truth in what is coming out of Delhi, today we have a substantial section of the media, people we considered our colleagues, people we considered participatory members in the endeavor that is journalism, today acting as the arm of the government, spouting government propaganda, actually endorsing the lies that the government is putting out to us. They are doing this by questioning the claims of their own fellow journalists. They are doing us by feeding us a selective narrative from Kashmir. They are doing it even when they know that the organization they represent are organizations that will not publish a single report critical of the government if they were actually able to find or actually determine it. So they are going in as embedded propaganda agents posing as journalists. And in that sense, they are proving to be force multipliers of this government in terms of stopping us from doing the jobs we must. The worst hit in this are Kashmiri journalists based in Kashmir who are being deliberately disallowed from doing their work. Colleagues of mine, people who travel to the valley today know that Indian journalists, and I think Kashmiris are making it a point today to say that they don't want to be described by this terminology. Indian journalists from the mainland who are going to Kashmir have an easier access, have an easier chance of making it through curfews, through checkpoints, have easier chances of access. Not only does the government want the country not to know the complete truth about Kashmir, it also does not want this report, this truth to be reported by Kashmiris. Kashmiri journalists are facing particular problems, particular threats, their ability to bring out newspapers, cover news, represent news in the national media is being cut down systematically. This tendency, this threat, which originates from the top. We are seeing propaganda videos being put out in which the national security advisor is a willing participant trying to sell the country propaganda. It is our job to question and scrutinize this and not let this pass for the truth. We are here today to oppose this, to say that as journalists we are defending democracy and it is these people who claim to be acting in the name of the national interest who are subverting it by preventing the media from the role it should do in a free society. Thank you.